I'm Robert Timmons, and you're watching Weekly Words. Stop me, oh, somebody stop me, stop me, stop me, please, somebody stop me, stop me, stop me, oh, somebody stop me, and Lord, if I'm doing it wrong, please stop me. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Weekly Words. I hope this past week has been very rewarding for you and very restful. And I want to give a special shout out to the graduating class of 2018. Congratulations. This week, I want to talk about the idea of letting go. So let's get started. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 says, Cast your anxiety on the Lord because he cares for you. I think this scripture can really resonate with a lot of us because in life, uh, we get thrown with so many different burdens and responsibilities and expectations and different ideas of what success is. And then our friends need our help and our family and all these different things happen to where we're carrying a lot each step of the way on our journey. And at different points, it seems very burdensome and we feel weighed down and, and we need help. And this scripture is giving us the answer to uh, go against that by casting all of our anxieties, all of our worries, all of our burdens on to the Lord because he cares for us and he wants the best for us in our life as we walk to fulfill our purpose here on earth. But the thing is, as humans, we are always taught to, you know, stand tall through our adversity and, and keep walking and keep trying and be men and women of our words and help those in need and all these different things and not to complain and to, you know, keep our head held high and to work through it and not to give up and all these different things. But sometimes it's too much for us and we really need to let go. We need to let go of the burdens. We need to let go of the things that aren't our responsibility. We have to let go of temptation. We have to let go of things that are distracting us or hindering us from our journey, right? And it's kind of hard because it's, it's, it's difficult to discern what things we need to hold on to and what things we need to let go of. But if we pray and ask for discernment from God and think about what's truly a hindrance in this season, then we will be able to have that understanding of what we need to let go of. There is this, this picture that I've seen around on social media and it says, sometimes holding on causes more damage than letting go. And the top of the picture shows this hand and, and it's holding this rope very tightly. And you can, there's tension in the rope so you can tell that it's something you know heavy against it. Then the bottom of it shows the hand letting go of the rope and the rope being removed from the hand. And there's like this scar and this burn on the hand. And you can see that the rope was causing all this damage on the hand. And it's saying that, you know, it's, it's it, you know, it hurt more to hold on to something when you let it go. You're, you're relieved of that burden of that strain. And I think that's very, that's a very good illustration of what I'm talking about here in terms of letting go that whenever we hold on to things that are a hindrance to us or we hold on to things that aren't our responsibility or aren't for us, it's actually hurting us and preventing us from fulfilling who we are supposed to be. And so there comes a point where we have to let go of those extra things that we have to uh, give it to God to, for him to handle because when it comes down to it, we each have our own limit for the things that we can operate under. Now, I'm not saying that you can just op you can just freely let go of responsibility and and let go uh, of your friends and don't help them when they need you and let go of your family and don't help them when they need you and you know walk away from people. I'm not saying that at all because life is going to happen and people are going to need your help. And as a person, you have responsibility whether you are a, a parent or a, an employee or or whatever you are, you have naturally responsibilities. And even if it's just responsibility of your own life to take care of yourself, right? But what I am saying is that there are some things that just aren't for you right now in this season, right? So for me, one of the things that I've realized that I've had to let go of is my... Um, the amount of television that I watch. There's a lot of good shows out there and, and I enjoy TV shows and movies for various reasons, entertainment and the story and the plot and uh, the social, the social, oh crap, what's the word? <laughs> the um, social commentary and all the different things that, you know, TV shows and movies can 
put into there. And so it's something bad, but I realized that the time that I spend watching TV is time that I could be used in my development because I'm in a very developmental season as I'm working on, on me as a professional and I'm working on me as a poet and I'm working on me as a writer. And so the time that I watch, I spend watching TV is taking away from that development that I could have on my life, right? And so I've realized that I have to let go of some of the TV that, that I'm watching, right? Not that it's a bad thing, just that I have other things that I could be working on during that time. Another example is one of my friends, uh, she did she did a year of, of singleness where she uh, intentionally and dig diligently did not go on any dates or spend any alone time with men because she realized that she was at a point in her life where she needed to focus on herself, her own personal goals and her own relationship with God and that having a, a romantic relationship wasn't good for her in this season. So she let go of that, right? Not saying that relationship is a bad thing because God did call us to relationship, but recognizing that everything has its time and its place. So we have to find the things that we need to let go of that are actually hindering our current walk in life, right? Not saying that you can't hold back onto it later, uh, but just saying that right now it's not for you. And yes, there are going to be some things that you really do need to let go completely and just completely let go of in your entire life. But some things you might only need to let go of for a season or for a couple seasons. But the thing is, you have to find out what you need to let go of. And one last example that I want to give is there's this, uh, you know, kind of picture and excerpt also going around on social media that has, you know, been around for, for a while. And it's this picture of, of a pot of water sitting on a stove and there's a frog inside, right? And so the water starts off room temperature, lukewarm, whatever, and then someone turns the stove on and so the water starts to heat up and then eventually starts to boil. Well, frogs have the ability to adapt to temperature changes, whether something's too cold or too hot, right? So as the water gets hotter and hotter, the frog is adapting to the heat so that it can survive in it, right? As opposed to jumping out, it just it keeps adapt, adapting its blood and its, and its body temperature, whatever it, it does. I don't know the, the full signs of it, but it's adapting to the heat until it gets to the point where the water's too hot for the frog to survive. And then when it, so when that happens, the frog goes to jump out, but it's actually too late and the frog dies, right? The whole time the frog was trying to adapt to its environment so much to the point where he reached his limit, where he could no longer survive in the water and it ultimately led to him losing his life right? The same thing can happen to us. If we are constantly taking on burden after burden, responsibility after responsibility, uh, thing after thing, we're, we're adapting because, you know, God made us made us creatures of, of talent and being able to adapt and overcome obstacles. But if we keep taking on more and more obstacles and keep adapting and adapting and adapting and not letting go of things, we're going to get to a point like the frog where we reach our limit and we actually break ourselves, right? And that might not lead to, uh, you know, us physically dying, but we're going to be physically broken and, and spiritually broken. And we're going to be completely hindering our purpose and, and our ability to help others because we didn't take care of ourselves. We didn't, we did not let go of the things that weren't for us in our season. All right. So what burdens or hindrances do you have in your life that you need to let go of? Whether it's people whether it's relationships, whether it's habits, whether it's um, finances, whether, it, whether it's temptations, what things in your life do you need to let go of to ensure that you can be the best version of yourself and walk in your purpose? All right, so question time. Just like every other week, I'm going to ask you guys a couple of questions. And again, I encourage you to think them over and talk about them with your accountability partner. All right, so let's get started. Question one, what are some of the biggest things preventing you from reaching your goals? What are some of the biggest things preventing you from reaching your goals? Question two, what burdens, worries, and anxieties are you holding on to that you need to let go of? What burdens, worries, and anxieties are you holding on to that you need to let go of? Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Weekly Words. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for topics for me to talk about in the future, feel free to email me at weeklywordsrt at gmail.com. All right, I'll talk to you later. Have a great week. Stop.
me, oh, somebody stop me, stop me, stop me, please, somebody stop me, stop me, stop me, oh, somebody stop me, and Lord, if I'm doing it wrong, please stop me.